Sophia. Welcome to Sniper's Rest. Sniper's Rest is the last best rest stop in the here and there, the place between where you're coming from and where you're going. I am Sniper Shadow and I reside here in Sniper's Rest as a guide and custodian to those who pass through the here and there. Today we leave Sniper's Rest and venture into the multiverse. Starfield beckons us again today. Last time the Collective sent us on a wild goose chase. Now we're officially a member, we can choose our own adventure. Let's see what we get up to today. Time once again for Space Fallout. Let us continue on our way and figure out what we want to do today. Alright, let's take stock of what we have. Okay. Why is there an exclamation point next to the digipix? Okay. Not gonna question that. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we sold everything last time. Oh! Gary, there's a skill point menu. Physical. Social. Combat. Science. Tech. Oh, okay, so it's a special menu, but they haven't spelled special this time. Alright, fair enough. What do we got? Boxing. Fitness. Stealth. Weightlifting. And wellness. Okay, so I'm gonna say we put a point into fitness. So it's gonna be useful and weightlifting because that means we can carry more shit. Wellness, yeah, we'll do that as well. Alright, we've got one point left. We've got persuasion. Commerce and theft, and then we've got ballistics, and that's, so that's just guns and stuff. Aerodynamics, geology, medicine, research methods. So they we've already got because of our choice of background. Uh, tech. So targeting control, security, floor, piloting, so well, that's a plotting then. Um, boost pack training, ballistic weapon systems. Okay, so boost track pain, boost pack training. I'm pretty sure we should probably put a point into that because Old Love gave us a boost pack earlier. So we'll put it into that. Um, so now what were we doing? So that's all our main missions, that's a faction mission, that's some kind of random mission. And so read the secret out per slate in your inventory. We have something in our... Oh! Loyal to your crew, I get it, but screw that. Beg, borrow, steal, kill to get to Denabola IB. 
There is a secret outpost we're trying to crack once in a lifetime opportunity. You'll regret it for the rest of your life if you don't get your ass out of here. Hmm. So what do I then do with that information? Do I find that planet? So if I set a course to- oh god that's a lot of activities so I'm assuming these are like miniature side mission thingies that aren't really- that's a lot. We might have a side mission um Quest for side quests at one point, but it makes sense to me that we should probably. I remember them saying there was some kind of space station. We should probably go talk to Vladimir and space station. I'll head to my crew position. What's that? Oh, that's that side mission. Why is that up there? We need to be going here. The eyes open we? to you, constellation. So we hail. Okay. Do I have to be closer to Doc? Uh, I'm getting pretty close. There's no docking symbol. Okay, there it is. God. I was going to run into the side of it. I mean, I like the way that. I do like the way that they've done this. But also after playing something like No Man's Sky and having so much open that's right we look up don't we having so much open ability this feels very restricting in the sense that I can't manually fly myself unless I'm in the air I can't land wherever I want on the planet I can't dock myself I feel like if they had given us more options. I'm just gonna have a little sticky peek around. Look at that, that's... I mean... The graphics are very very nice, they're very pleasing to look at. Which is, you know, very different from something like No Man's Sky because obviously those graphics aren't designed with that realism in mind, I suppose. Um, but yeah, like I just feel a little bit restricted in the ability to kind of, you know, I understand that like a lot of No Man's Sky is, oops, sorry broom, um, I don't, I don't know how to pick that up and put it back where I found it, so just gonna leave that on the floor. But like I understand the movement sky, like, you know, they're like, oh, there's 18 quad I can't even remember the number, but it was some bizarre number of procedurally generated planets. Um and it would take you to explore the entire game, it would take you IRL 253 years or something like that. So, so obviously, you know, that in this sort of setting would be impossible to do. But, but also, the idea behind just a little bit, like just a, just a fraction more freedom, would have made this like such a massive wow factor like I, I so far I'm enjoying the game I'm enjoying the idea but I just feel a bit restricted and like ugh. 
the reason I keep comparing it to No Man's Sky is because it, it seems to be a running theme that everybody is comparing Starfield to No Man's Sky when they're two completely different games. This is more of an RPG Fallout style but in space type game. No Man's Sky is essentially a sandbox. You can do whatever, whenever, however, and it, it's a very, they're, they're chalk and cheese, these two games, and I suppose the reason I'm comparing it is because it's the only, it's the only other space game that I've played that has similar, um, not mechanics because they're not the same, but like similar ideals. Like, you know, oh, look at all these planets you can explore and, you know, you can fly your ship and, and it's like, cool, I can do that. And uh, the, the, so, like, I see the, where people are comparing it to No Man's Sky, even though they're two totally different styles of games. Hey, look. Is that a carrot? Cool, a carrot. I found a carrot. Neat. Um, so, yeah. But yeah, so far, so far this game is really enjoyable. I am enjoying it immensely. Um, but I do feel restricted in this game in comparison to like, if I want to fuck off into the universe and completely ignore the main story in, in No Man's Sky, you absolutely can. So you can just fuck off and do whatever you want. Like. You know, go, go, go ham. This, I don't know if you can do that. Like, I'm following the main storyline, obviously, because I'm still trying to get a feel for the game. But at some point, I want to go off the grid and just have a look around and see what I can do. So, I do look forward to doing that once I have a f solid feel for how the mechanics of the game work. It seems very... It seems very similar to... Oh, slippers. It seems very similar to the same style as Fallout. Um, you know. So, it, it does share some similarities. Um, but I feel, I feel like I'm getting distracted by what I'm looking at. Cups. But yeah, I feel like this is the first time I've sort of looked around properly and like picked stuff up and, you know, done a, done a bit of a fallout -y sort of thing. But yeah, it does, it does share a lot of similarities. So how do the magazines work in this? Do we do we read them? Like, no. We can only drop it. There's no way to read it. Permanently increases carrying capacity by five kilos. But, like, do I have to keep it in my inventory? How does that work? See, like, th that's the thing. Like, there's some... Some mechanics here that aren't explained that I feel like they need to be. Like, I don't need you to hold my hand and tell me how to walk, and how to jump, and how to turn my camera and stuff. I know how to do all that. I need you to tell me if I have to read the magazine or keep it in my inventory. If I have to, you know, um, if I have to constantly have the spacesuit on, or, you know, which atmospheres are, like, obviously when we went to Mars, I forgot to put my helmet back on when we went outside, so it was like, uh-oh. You know, that's the type of stuff I need you to tell me. Just so I'm not, like, flopping around like a dead fish out here trying to figure out mechanics that are not explained. And it's like, for people who don't know, oops, put that away, um, for people who don't know how to, you know, like they've never played a first person shooter or whatever, like this is, this is the game that they were like, okay, I want to give gaming a shot. They pick up this game and they're like, wow, I have no idea what I'm doing. What do I do with this controller, etc. 
or you know a keyboard whatever whatever you're playing on like yeah there should be like a menu tutorial thing which takes you into like a i don't know a space station or something and walks you around and lets you figure out all the different controls and whatnot like um back in the day when i first started playing first person shooters um half-life was a great example of that because you could go into the game and play the game just straight from the menu or there was a training section and you could choose whether or not to go into training and then the training was also set up like the game but um it wasn't you know we got a rook on deck hello good to see constellation getting some fresh blood Uh. Ah, gotta I'm pass the hours on the star them. station somehow, and the iron's always been good to me. Just don't challenge him to an arm wrestling competition. Wish I could have been down at the lodge to see the artifacts Fair. come together, but I got a little lost yeah, peeking really through cool. the eye. Fair. Someone should have grabbed you. It was freaking awesome. Always preferred or working that alone, to me even doing around it people stuff. I like. But we're all working together on this one. No finer group in the stars to be unraveling this mystery. Now, this station, the Eye, rigged up for deep space scans. Mm -hmm. Barrett and Sarah teased out the signs mm -hmm. of where our artifacts could be hiding after we caught our second one. Oh, okay. But the data takes a slow mm -hmm. ride along the sea of light. Years or decades between us and the fringes of space without a grav drive. Uh, you won't understood. be the only constellation out there. Andresia and Matteo are both following up on scans themselves. Matteo went out recently, but Andresia, it's been a while. Hate to pull a worried old man act on you, but I'm an old man and I'm worried. <laughs> yes, indeed. I'll keep an Stop eye out for her. so much, Vladimir. If she's out there, we'll find her. She should be at one of the two sites I've marked on your star map. Can take care of herself, but we all need backup sometimes. Anyway. Hopefully you'll be catching Fortune's smile, and we'll have some more artifacts to take a closer look at. Happy hunting. Oh, that's what I'm... That's what I'm counting on. Should I ask him some questions? Usually Should doesn't. Do I get I'm to overdrawn yeah. from Lady Luck three times over. It's a long tale to tip your ear on. But if you ever wanted to visit, I have a house out there in the Starfield. Thought I was going to see life's eclipse you from do? there, but Constellation swept me away. Haven't been there since we started on the eye. If you do go there, turn the lights off when you leave, okay? Alright. Well, I, 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 I guess that's, that's all you wanted to talk about? No, what was I? I went off on a tangent, and I've forgotten the tangent. Oh, so in Half-Life, you, Captain, they have this section where you can go into training, and it, it like it's all kept in game. So it's like, oh, you, know, you have to. No deviations, no distractions, no dalliances, in short, no fun. Unless, as. I think I need a protocol and a goal. I keep going on a tangent. Distractions and dalliances are completely necessary in getting this fine vessel, the Discovery Class Starship Frontier, back home in one piece. I guess I'm still technically borrowing it from Constellation, even if I have no intention of actually giving it back. He's so cheeky.
Anyway, to conclude my tangent, they have a in-game that's kept, like, you know, um, within the lore or whatever, like, you, you have to test the, the HEV suit, etc. out, and that's how you learn to do all the jumping and the running and the, the turning your cameras and all that sort of stuff. And games need to have that more as a separate section, because if, if we're long-time gamers, which most of us are, we know how to do all this shit. We don't need some 10 minute tutorial. Hello? I can cook? I can make sandwiches? Your girl can make a sandwich? An alien scramble? Dang. Okay, that's cool. Um, you know, most of us know what we're doing in terms of running and jumping and crouching and all that stuff, but like, you know, like I said, in-game stuff like, do I have to click on the magazine to make it work? Do I have to carry it in my inventory for it to activate? Is me just picking it up a sign of me having that extra five kilo capacity? You know, that would be something nice to know. Or, Hey, this planet doesn't have an atmosphere, you might want to stick on your helmet before you step out the door, okay? Stuff like that that's kind of like, oh, um, you know, this is something I don't, this is a new mechanic, you know, this is something I don't, I'm not familiar with. You know, some games, they have the auto, the auto on off feature, so like, you know, in, in Mass Effect, for example, you, when you're on the surface of the planet, you automatically have your helmet on. When you walk into a building, you automatically have your helmet off, but you still have your armor on. You know, other games, you stay in your armor the entire time. Doom, um, Dead Space, you know, that sort of stuff. Uh, you never take your helmet off. You don't even know what the character looks like underneath, sort of thing. Master Chief is another one. Um, so, you know, you have, you have those situations, then you have the ones that automatically do it, but this game allows you to take off and put on your own spacesuit at your leisure, swap pieces out, etc. But when I go to get off the ship, if it's a, it, it could bring up a little screen that's like, hey, this is the planet you're about to step off onto. You know, um, this is what the atmosphere is like, this is the, because obviously you, you scan, you scan the, the planet from the atmosphere, you know what the planet is, you know what it's about, like it, this is what all the technology is, because otherwise you wouldn't be able to see it on your map, right? It, it wouldn't be there with all the information, but it's like when you step off the ship, it's got to come up with like a thing that says, you know, this is the planet you're getting off onto. It does not have an atmosphere. This is like the type of weather or whatever you're going to run into. This high radiation, you need a suit. You know, like to let me know that I need to put my suit on before I get off. Otherwise, I'm going to suffocate, die, get killed by radiation and or corrosive matter, whatever, you know? That would be a useful thing to help integrate that mechanic of hey, put your space suit on, take your space suit off. Because then why why have I got all these cool outfits like exhibit A, this one right here is fucking dope. Um this cyber street wear. Like, why have I got all these outfits if I'm just going to be air on the side of caution and wear my spacesuit all the fucking time? Okay, so I can't jump because I haven't explored. Okay, that's a good thing to know. So we can only jump to places we have explored by going along a certain territory. Right, okay, that's good that's good information to know. So we're gonna We're gonna click onto the hey go find that thing for Vladimir or whatever. Where is that? So we're gonna click onto this. Um, we're going to set the course to do this one. So we need to jump to here.
Now we're hey, in contact oh, Charlie nice. 3. Hello? Nice to meet you. Bye, Charlie 3. Hi. Just Hi. doing my daily paying it forward. Avoid the Altair system. Not big time. Okay. Thanks for the warning? Sure. So, I'm doing my rounds, uh, pick up supply drops, and I grab into the Altair system and <laughs> oh boy! Spacers! All over the damn place, a distress call, yammering non-stop. Something big's going down there, and all of us with no um, skin in the game, best we just give it a wide berth. <laughs> Am I oh right? no, I'm gonna head straight in there, guns blazing. You were lucky uh, to make it out of there. battle as soon as my grab drive can spin up, but uh, yeah, lucky. Bye, Charlie 3. You've been like the best Charlie 3 I've talked to all week. Oh, thanks, buddy. So, um, we're going there later. <laughs> I have no idea where I'm going. So, where am I landing? Is it down there? Okay. I'm not gonna lie here, this map system that they have, it's very confusing. Now, see, I have no idea. Can I breathe on this planet? Oh, there's a cargo hold there. Okay, well, that's good to know because um, I've just been doing it in the menu. <laughs> hey, look, a research lab. I wonder what this does. So am I able to research these things? Do I have these on board? Like... Oh, okay, so it says material available. Okay. <clears throat> So you can put yeah. Oh. Okay. So if I have this stuff in my inventory, I can like do this. Okay, I see. House noise. See, they've put so much into these like screens, and I appreciate it. But I just like I hate the fuck around and find out. Like I hate that I would have to go to Google and figure this out if I just wasn't fucking about with it. Like there should be some way to explain all of this stuff in game unless i've missed something and i haven't found like the tutorial for this stuff and i put that in inverted quote thingies because it's like if you would you would oh hey do you know how to use this oh here let me explain it to you you know it's like in game like tutorial like lore type compliant shit um but like I don't know, I just, I feel like there should be more here. 
for the amount of time they worked on this game, I, I feel like these sorts of things should be in-game explained. Like, what am I doing? What does all this do? I mean, I understand that, you know, this gives me... Some of these will give me the ability to, like, craft things and stuff like that, which is cool. Um... But just a touch more explanation on, because... If you've never played, like, if you didn't like Fallout, or you didn't play Fallout games or anything like that, and you just came into this Bethesda game because you like space games or whatever. Like, this would be very fucking confusing because there's a lot to it. There's a lot here. It's like going into... It going in blind into a Monster Hunter game, which I did one time, and it was like... Um... I have no clue what's happening. There are so many things in the menu and I have no idea what any of them do, you know, and it was very overwhelming and I feel like it could have been set out better. But lots of games feel like that. I mean, you go play Stardew Valley. I've been playing that game for fucking years. I have uh, like hours and hours into that game and I am still finding things. Should be plenty of organic materials to harvest from this world. Wait, can I breathe? I don't know if I'm breathing. Am I, am I dying? Oh, okay, radiation. See? Now I'm irradiated. And I can still wander around without dying. What the fuck? See, this is what I mean. I need more information before I step off the ship. Okay, so... I can only harvest the little chunks off there. Let me scan these. Okay. See, what am I doing here? Like, why is the ship telling me to go back to the ship? I'm here for the artifact, aren't I? Okay, so that's scanning. Okay, and I can harvest these. But again, I don't know what harvesting does. I mean, I'm sure I can figure it out, but still. I'm assuming by scanning these and do some kind of I don't know what scanning them does, whether that helps somebody somewhere or what. This is another type of plant which I'm assuming I can also harvest. Wait, no, yes, okay, yes. Sure, I, I guess, Sarah. I mean, I don't know, man. I don't know what any of this does because this is very fuck around to find out. I sort of wish I had bought Vasquez. Vasco? Whatever his name is. I feel like I should have brought him because at least he would explain things. Are you in a suit? Do I need to be in a suit? Like, this is annoying me now. Okay, so I 100% scanned that. What does that do?
Does that help us figure things out? Like... Is that helping someone back at the lodge? I don't fucking know. I mean, I know that old love asked for organic material, which I'm assuming I'm collecting for her, but like, am me scanning these? Is that helping her? Is that helping me? I don't know. I don't get money for this. It's not like, you know, you earn credits if you scan things. It's funny, like you watch these new games that come out, right? And they're, 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 you know, what do you call it? I don't know, I guess you call them AAA games because they're made by big ass fucking companies. Right, so you've got things like, you know, Starfield and then you've got games like, what, um, I think of another one, hang on. Um, I don't know, like, I'm basically what I'm trying to rather inarticulately say is that these days I seem to be more impressed by indie games, by games made by tiny companies who have love for these games and cool a rock pile i'll just sift my ass through it and um find minerals because since this makes none um so i find that i'm more impressed by these little fucking indie games than i am by you know games made by multi-million dollar companies whoopsie okay see so now now what's wrong with me? I see I've got this little radiation symbol, like... And she's in a suit. See? Like... But I'm fine without a suit on. I'm not dying. I do not understand this. This is <laughs> pissing me off. Okay. So... I seem to be more impressed with, with indie games than... Than these massive games. Because... I feel like more effort is put into them. Despite these games being, oh, it took us six years to make this. Okay. The graphics are very impressive. The concept is very impressive. But the quality of life is... is not... is not as... prominent, I guess. Like... You know, yeah. all right. It feels less um, less put together. I have gleaned an affliction. Open the status menu. Oh God. Do I have to worry about getting injured and shit? Is this some seven days to die? You are bleeding out. You have fifteen seconds to bandage yourself up before you fucking drop dead. You have an affliction. Okay. So I have, I have burnt myself because I was too close to the an extreme solar radiation. See, now, before I stepped off the ship, I knew nothing of this. So how, how do I, how do I, how do I fix this? Okay, it was a little, okay, so let's add, let's just put on my suit because obviously I need my fucking suit. Okay, so... I have to treat it. it, it's got a little... Okay, so I have to copy the symbol, is that what I'm doing? No, not that. Maybe that? No. Do I have to copy the symbol? Is that what I'm supposed to do? I assume. Let's try. Okay, burn's cured. Yeah, okay, so copy the symbol. Um, as for the radiation, well, you yeah, know. 
I'm sorry, there's no rat X. There's no rat away. I don't know. I don't know how to get rid of that. I'm sorry. There's no circle. There's no circle in my inventory. I fucking don't know. Okay, so there's lots of um. See, I have to. And now the mission is okay. What? Well, I'm swear I fucking picked this. Is it right now? Okay, there we go. Oh, oh. I mean, I'm supposed to be here. Okay, well that's good. But Thanks for yeah, I suppose the I better to talk, talk to you. I wanted sure. to ask you about the artifact you found on Vectera. When mm -hmm. you pulled it from the rock, held it in your hands for the first time, how did you feel? I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I had visions and heard music and shit. No, I no, I, I don't think you understand. I know about the visions, the light, and the music. How did you feel inside? What were your thoughts? I didn't have any. I mean, like, it was a vision, so, like, I, I, I don't know. It was, yeah, oh like, being goodness. pulled across that a galaxy. That must have been terrifying. Well, when yeah, if it had happened in I would have it been fucking terrified, of course. The science, well, simply fails. Yeah, that's fair. A, a touch of an understatement, darling. Just a small smidge. <laughs> true, true. But hey, how else would you describe it? The artifacts are so different, so alien. And I'm certain one of them reached out and spoke to you quite the mystery well i'm yeah i, I yeah Agreed. it does yeah unfortunately there's no way that i know of to reply and believe me i've been trying to gather data on the damn things for years you guys have been working on this for years i did not have that impression i did not have that impression when we were at the lodge <laughs> bewildering yes it would be Oh, well, an explorer's dream to solve a mystery like this. I knew I picked yeah. the right person for the job. Look, I wanted to thank you for taking the time to talk, and for keeping an open mind. And I also wanted to say, well, I'm pleased we're on this journey together. <laughs> It's the best decision I've made in quite a long time. Okay. So... I don't know, even the character development sounds clunky. Don't so... I still have no idea what I'm doing. I mean, I have to find the artifact, which is over in that direction. But also, do I explore? Like, what does that get me if I do that? Like, do I achieve anything from looking around here? And why is everything so far away? Why do I not have a vehicle? I should have like a... I should have some way of getting around. This feels very walkie walkie. Which is fine if it was like a post-apocalyptic America because all the cars are broken and shit. But the, I have a spaceship and a spacesuit and, and cool space gadgets. Why do I not have a vehicle? This makes no sense to me. Surely, like a mech or something, right? A mech, a buggy, a car, a freaking owl. Um. Hell, I'd settle for a fucking trial bike, man. Why are we beeping? Why are we beeping? How do... 
what is going on? Why am I beeping? Yeah, I know about the radiation. I got irradiated when I accidentally didn't wear my fucking suit to this planet because I didn't know I was supposed to. Why am I beeping? Am I out of batteries? Like, what? Okay, I don't, I don't know how to fix that beeping. Okay, so... Oh god, that's annoying. Alright. I don't know what that is or why it's doing that. It's just a part of our life now. Hear the beep, part of the beep. Okay, so I'm gonna go over and have a look at whatever this is over here. Some kind of natural formation or something, I think? Unexplored chemistry feature. Oh, okay. Oh! Okay, so it's some kind of crystalline minerals. Okay, so what I just. I can't mine these, I just get XP for finding these. Oh, okay. Well, we're gonna go on a little trek and see what we can find around here. Um, just have a bit of an explore and see what kind of exploration we have available to us. Oh, that beeping. Please stop beeping. Because I used to explore, I used to love to explore everything, right? All of the little bits and pieces in your in your Fallout games, I I loved finding all of them. I loved going and looking at new locations, and sometimes there was lore behind them and that sort of thing. But I mean, this is very cool. This little sunken area. But how do I get out of here? Maybe it was a mistake for me to like um, just like jump in a hole without figuring out how to get out. At least we have our boost. Um, oh dear. Okay. At least we kind of have our little boost pack there, so that's better than nothing. And that allows us to get out, which is good. Okay, so where do I need to be? Uh, isn't there a button that makes a map somewhere? Okay. So that's some kind of unknown location. Okay, so can we fast travel to locations then? We can, look at that. Okay, so once we've discovered something, we can fast travel to it, which functions much the same as, dare I say, a Fallout game.
Okay, so it's got a little pathway there that leads us to where we want to go. Um, but seeing as we're pretty close to whatever that unknown structure is, I'm considering going over there. I just want to explore just a little bit more before we go do the um, the quest here. So we're just gonna go have a look at a few more things. Because I'm pretty sure we can fast travel back to where we were just before. We're just going to cruise along and have a look around. See what else we can find. I mean, yeah, I can see this. I can see myself not fully exploring um, anything unless I need to be there because of the fact that I have to walk everywhere. Um, and if it takes you, you know, 20 minutes to get from one side to the other just, just to go investigate something that doesn't have a reward except for XP then I don't know quite why I would be doing it. You know, if there wasn't like a building to explore or like some kind of cool, uh, like, I don't know, fight sequence or, oops. Oh yeah, I'll just choke myself out, my bad. Um, yeah, if there's not like some cool fight sequence or buildings to explore and like you know that sort of thing I don't see a point in going to all these locations like unless I'm gonna find some kind of legendary weapon or um like uh, I was gonna say armor then but like some really good quality stuff then whoa what the hell was that is that like seismic activity? God damn. Oh my god, again. Are we near like, one of those drill things? Okay, well we can't be here long if this is what's going to happen every two seconds because we keep stumbling. We're not going to get anywhere. Yeah, that's... What is that? Okay. Oh yeah, that's really annoying. Okay, unexplored geophysical feature. Unknown feature scan. What is that? Colossal shards. Okay. But see, what's... What am I discovering here? Like, there's nothing to do except to scan it. I can't use it for anything. It's just... Okay, well this is like, what? 300 something meters away. So let's go have a look over here. 
see what this is. So like there's different biomes on the planet and so I've surveyed what 80 something percent and the fact that even when I run I build my seer 2 up to the point where it will kill me even when I'm not over encumbered yeah it's really annoying okay so now what's this over here A cave. Okay. Can I go in? Can I look into the- I can go in the cave. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Okay. Protection region? Okay, well, what's in here? What am I looking for? Wait, is this where the thing is? No. 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 No, it's leading me back to the exit, because that's where I'm supposed to be going. Right, right. Well, that's a bunch of stuff. There's some chlorine. Cool, cool. Um, I cannot harvest chlorine? I mean, chlorine's technically like a... It's not like a... It's a liquid though, isn't it? Usually? Or am I thinking... Am I... Oh! It's a, it, it's a gas. It's a gas? Okay. I thought it was a liquid. Wait, no, how is there a storage box here? No one's supposed to have been here before. Okay. Cool. Thought it said unexplored. Or is that only mean unexplored to me? I have not explored planet. What is that? Aluminium? Ah, burrito. Thank you. Okay, can we, thank you. Right, oh, thank you. How do I, oh God. The visibility in these caves are a freaking nightmare. Look at this, I can't see. Why did you bother to get out of your, oh God, I'm stuck. Why did you bother to get out of your spacesuits, Arrow? And now this is this the cave I was just in? Yes, it. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes, this was the cave I was just in. Okay, cool. Um, would have been nice to know about the shortcut before, but all good. I'm just bibbity bobbity. Okay, and now you're yelling at me about radiation again. I'm in my suit. Okay, so do I just, I'm just gonna go, because that's explored, that's explored. 
think I'm just going to go back to where we were um, or where I'm supposed to go, which I'm pretty sure is over here. So we'll just fast travel back to where we were supposed to go because otherwise we're going to be running forever because it was like 2,000 meters or something away. Oh, there was a cave I didn't know about. Okay. That would explain a lot. Okay, so where do I go? What am I... Okay. All those the adders. Nickel. I could perhaps use this. So let's grab it. Um, then we gotta figure out. Uh, okay, okay, here it is. Here's the artifact. I'm guessing I can't get any of this. Like this isn't something I can pick up. Yeah, no. Do you want do you wanna pick it up? Do you wanna do you wanna do the honors? No? Really? You've been harping on about it. Okay, I have a feeling that all these pieces are supposed to do create some kind of sphere and I don't I don't know what like whether that's like something we can pass through, like it, it's like a gateway or a portal or something, I don't know, Stargate, fucking whatever. Or if it's like a communication device or like an information device, I don't I don't know. But that's cool. We'll just keep cruising. Okay, so we got some stuff down here. Um, it's this, oh god, I think it's nickel. And I got myself toxic gas. Oh my god. Uh huh. And radioactive liquid. I'm not even gonna. Not even gonna bother going down there and getting those. I already minced my poor suit. And my poor self, that's where we, we got the artifact from. How do I get out of here? There it is. Okay. So 
So, 67% explored. What, what else the fuck is there? I went in the cave. There's no other landmarks. My pet hate in any fucking game is getting stuck on stuff. Ugh. So frustrating. Okay. Listen, girl. Just up you go. Alright? So, what have we got? Okay. Animal, vegetable, or mineral? It's a fucking rock. In it. Okay, so I scanned it. And I'm gonna press all the wrong buttons and get frustrated again because I can't figure out the buttons. Right. And it it still says I haven't explored it fully. There's there's nothing else fucking here. Man. There's the cave which we fully explored. And there's the the the, the bit at the top which we've scanned. There's nothing else on this mountain. So why is it only saying 67% is wood? There's nothing else here. Look. There's the rock pile that we opened earlier. Curse of the food. Okay, everything's trying to fucking kill me. So that's fun. Oh jeez, more corrosive liquid. So good at this. So good at this exploration shit. Look, this, this, literally, I have just walked all over this flipping rock. Do you see anything? Am I missing something? Because I don't fucking see it. you see with which I am missing because I don't fucking see whatever the hell I'm supposed to be scanning. Is the I've done it. I scanned it. I've been in the cave. I explored the cave. I got the artifact out. What the fuck am I going to this fucking mountain? It's annoying me now. Okay, we're gonna avoid the corrosive pool this time. Is there something down here maybe? No? Okay. We're gonna have just one more quick look in the cave, just to make sure I haven't missed some special fucking feature of this mountain. Just a quick squeeze. And once again, I am stuck on something. Next time, use your jetpack. Alright, Sarah, fucking relax, eh? It wasn't even that far. Whoops, that's the wrong one. I fall a little bit and she yells at me. Damn, she's going to. There you go, Sarah. Use the fucking jetpack. Relax. How do you get down here so fast? Okay, well, that's, this is the bit that I looked at earlier. That's a camera. That's not the button. Do I have to be closer? I'm assuming I have to be closer to get those. 
the camera again. Okay, this is not this is not a large hill. Is there something through here? It literally looked everywhere. That's the cave with which the weird shit is in. I need some of this beryllium because it seems to be around the uh, hello. There we go. It seems to always be around this sun. Um, artifact shit. Definitely can't mind that, okay. Well, I give the fuck up, I don't know. Is there some perk that I don't have that I need in order to discover something else here? Use your jetpack, Sarah. <laughs> Stuck on a rock, a tree stump, a bog, a stick, a pebble, whatever it is when I'm running. So annoying. Okay, so. I think we're going to. Fuck it, we're out now. Because I, I, I give up with that location. 67% explored. I walked around the whole mountain. I walked through the whole mountain. There's nothing there. That's cool. I mean, 
Part of me is, is, is tempted to go for a little walk. Still, to like investigate, but also... I'm not entirely sure that I want to bother fighting people because that looks like an area with which I'm going to have to fight people. That looks like a man-made structure. It definitely looks like a man-made structure, which means there's going to be scavers or friggin' spaces or whatever you call them over there, so we're just going to go. We're just going to go. Be safer, I think. Right. Now we can put stuff away in here, which is nice. I still don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. It gives you no indication whatsoever. Bring the resources in. Oh, I bent myself. Suppose I should fix that. Some healing paste somewhere, didn't I? Yeah, there it is. Is that what I'm. Yeah, that's it, hey. Yep. Okay, problem solved. There we go. Slap some healing paste on it. She's all done and dusted. Alright, well. We have to find. Un Andrea. Whatever her name is, we have to go to this next place. What's that? Okay, I definitely can't hail it. What is this? Some kind of freaking... Looks like a space station. No, it's definitely not in. So is it abandoned? I'm not entirely sure I'm supposed to be here. This is, this is not the planet that I'm supposed to land on. But I'm the curious sort and we're gonna go have a sticky bee. Alright, up. Up first, we're stopping. Down to planet. Well, this place is a bit upmarket, look at it. Um, oh no, there's spaces here. Oh, there's no, oh, there's no gravity. Okay. We are weightless. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, hello. What's cracking? Mm, zero G space combat? Okay, this I appreciate. Good, good mechanic. Yes. 
defending a gun wasn't difficult already. Let's fucking do it in space. But there's no gravity. And you have to hope that you float in the right direction while aiming your gun. Fucking excellent. Oh, jeez. Health would be a good plan. Who are you yelling to? I've killed everyone else, I think. Is happening. I can't you. It's the wrong day to piss me off. Oof. Seriously, Cranky, so isn't she? I'm sure they had something we can use. Well, they usually do. Can you get out of the road? Thanks. With music still playing, so one would make the assumption there's still people here. Oh wait, the music stopped. Hello? Oh, I already did you. I'm not gonna lie, I'm already lost. Oh, hello. Sorry about your face. System error. Complete menu dump. Was this a casino? What the fuck was that noise? That was a that was a spoopy noise. There's some there are some weird, strange sounds coming from. Me. What is that? That's oh, a playing card. That's cute. Well, I'm looking for where that big space of punk guy was. There was a a room with one of those fancy crates that we'd seen in that first mission that Vasco took us on. And and now I'm back here again. What? Um, so yeah, I'm looking for- This gambling machine looks functional. Ah, oh, I see spaces are infesting this place. Mm, lovely. Um, that's, that's a, an awesome observation there, Sarah, but the fact remains that we have just killed all the spaces. Um, so they are no longer infesting the place. So you're a bit late on that little comment there, but um, thank you for adding that. That was very useful. Can I say that with the utmost sarcasm? Is this the exit? Okay, so there's the exit. 
Because there's the red carpet, and I was like, oh, this is very fancy. Okay. So it's got to be around here somewhere. So there's the area with all the, I don't know, poking machines or whatever the fuck you would call those. It's a dead man. That seems to be some kind of dance floor down there. Make sure you're locked and loaded. Spaces don't like people invading their junk. They're already dead, Sarah. There's no need to comment. We've already marked them. And I've been locked and loaded this entire fucking time, darling. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Oh my god. I saw it. It was around. It was a, a, when I hid from him to reload. I saw the container in like a long room and now I can't find that long fucking room and I'm not leaving until I find it. Where the fuck is it? So this must have been like zero G to start off with because all of these tables are, are like floating midair. There's no chairs or anything. There's no floors. So this must have been like some kind of zero G casino, which is a dope ass com concept complex concept. But, uh, not when you can't figure out where that damn room was. That's an explosive barrel. Probably don't hit that too hard with my head. I'm sure it was around here somewhere. Ah! Aha! Ah, 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 found it, found it, found it. Here it is. Okay, that's too difficult. Okay, so this one, then the two quest together, then that one, and then these guys. I see. And thanks for the credits. Done that before. Yes, they taught me how to do it in the first bit. What's that? And turn increases grab. I didn't mean to click on the computer, but okay. Oh, someone's cheating. Oh, Are we cheating over here. Okay, so I can't open those because I'm not adept at pinching things. Now I have to figure out how the fuck to get out of here. So that's the exit there, so have, okay, that's glass, but it's not going to help me. Brain going, hey, what would happen if you shot that barrel in zero G? There's no atmosphere in here, what would happen? So is it up? No, that was where we just were. I'll see now we've lost the exit. Excellent. Well, I mean, we haven't lost it. It's right there. I just don't know how to get in there. Okay, so we'll go down to the bottom. There's the exit sign. Oh, hello. I didn't collect from you. What about you, sir? No, I did. Okay. Um, so there's the exit sign, so was it through here? Yes, yes, because there's the big light. Oh, thank goodness UC security keeps these spaces off of Jemison. Um, okay. You 
comment in the weirdest places, Sarah. My God. Okay, let's go back onto the ship. Wait, wait, what? Okay, there we go. Ooh, that is an old school earth rifle. Fuck yes. Oh, it's so pretty. Favoriting that. Keeping that. That is mine. Excited face. Okay, so we found some new helmets and such. Technically better on two counts. Not better on the general overall, like thermal aerodynamic stuff. Oh, airborne, sorry. You, you know what I mean. The, the, the bits and pieces that protect us from the elements. It's our artifact. Got some resources we can pop in the ship. I have the resources from my inventory. Uh, I, I, I suppose I'll put eight items in there for now as well. That way I'm not carrying them around. Right now we have to undock. And then figure out. Undock first and then land on planet. So now we have to figure out whether this is, um, which is this planet. So that's a photo. Okay, so land. And hopefully we don't land in the middle of nowhere like we did last time. Okay, this looks about right. Okay, so we're down for the planet. I wonder how many life forms are roaming this planet. Uh, okay, well, we're going to do a little, a little touch of exploring just before we... Before we go into that mine over there. Signal would mean distress or something, but I don't know that for sure. And I mean, like, maybe I'll come back and explore this planet, so maybe I won't. I don't really know. I'm spitting pokeweed. Is it because it pokes you with your spines? Definitely feels distressy. A little bit of a sticky bake. 
God, I thought that was a person in a fucking cape then. I just about had a fucking heart attack. Oh my god. With any luck, maybe we can find a vein of platinum or neodymium. Anything to make this trip worthwhile. Corrosive gas. Well, you know, how am I supposed to collect it if I don't touch it? Keep scanning. I'm sure there's something nearby. No, uranium. Uranium is something I'm familiar with. And then other titanium, platinum, rubies, diamonds. We'll play Subnautica one of these days and I'll show you all the fun things and the spooky animals and the cool places you can go and do and things. It's great. I love Subnautica. You should probably have a fuck around in, in games like you know, No Man's Sky and stuff like that too, like sandboxy things that don't really end. Oh, it's a pool. Okay. Cool, cool. I also want to eventually do some, um, like, what do you call them? The little forays into, uh, like, you know, battle royale stuff, like, like, like Overwatch or something like that. Those will be significant move videos will be significantly shorter than the actual playthrough ones because you know uh, it's just a case of animals. Hey, are you scary? You're not. Oh my goodness. You're like giant buggers. Oh look at the giant buggers. Oh, friends. They're nice too, but then. Oh my goodness, look at their little horns. Hi. I'm gonna scan all of you guys so that I can get 100% because you guys are cute as. Look at you. Oh my goodness. Oh, I got a point. Yay. They're so sweet. Look at them and their cute little faces. Alright, let's crack on. <clears throat> is that like a ship? What is that? Um, can I have that? Thank you. Can I climb this? Oh, thank you. What is it? Is it a ship? Okay, come climb. No. Ooh. Okay, I guess we'll never know what's up there because I can't get up there. Thank you for the carbonic whatever acid stuff. Whatever you want to call us. Let's see what I need to call it. I don't want to be shooting that. I don't want to be collecting that. Let's 
it. Oh, that's the asset that I was just looking at now. There's a plant life on this planet. This mining facility looks stable, but at the first sign of seismic activity, yeah, it's we should get out of here. Um, observation there, Zero. I would say so. This is a mm, dispenser. I'll take it in. Might come in handy. You never know. You do? Hmm. That's not really the time, Sarah. You're kind of busy. You've got something for me? Oh god, that's a mine. Oh dear, ouch. And now I'm on fire. Yeah, no, don't worry about this area, I'm fine. You know, I'm good, I love being on fire. Don't comment on that. Storage box. How do I... Oh, display. Yes, you've said that twice, darling. Can I open it? Oh, there we go. Remember our last conversation, when you told me the artifacts made you feel like you were being pulled across the entire galaxy? Well, it got me thinking, so I dove into our archives and started looking through Constellation's older journal entries. Just because I wasn't familiar with the experience you described, doesn't mean the same might have been true for my predecessor. You had a predecessor? Really? I'm surprised that I haven't. After reading those journals, all of the pleasant memories of my time spent with Aja just started flooding back. Oh? Ah, oh, she absolutely was. Aja was the one that taught me the ropes at Constellation and took me under her wing as her protege. Uh... Yeah, I thought so too. That's why I adopted her methods. You know, Aja and I logged quite a few interesting discoveries together. But it was the journey itself that I'll never forget. Yes, that's exactly right. No greater pleasure than roaming the Starfield. It's the best time to enjoy the quieter moments. There was nothing quite like sitting back and... Watching space bend while listening to Aja spin vivid stories to fill the time. Oh, I find that sort of cozy Sounds isolation fun. the best way to really get to know someone. I take it I'm the protege? At this point, I'd say you've graduated from protege and moved up the ladder. A bit. You know, all this talk about okay. Aja reminds me that my time with her was a gift. I miss her dearly. Oh, did she? It also sounds like you two were, you know, boinking as well. Do I, do I, it's a bit tackless to ask if she's dead um 
Yeah. I'm not entirely sure if I should ask that question because it sounds like she is dead, but also sounds like you two were boinking. I boinky. respected her and I considered her a dear friend, but we weren't in love. Had that been true, I oh. would have resigned my post and moved to Parima 2 instead of remaining at Constellation. Come to think of it, if we're ever out oh, that okay. far, she retired. perhaps we could pay her She's a visit dead. and I could make proper introductions. Uh... Yeah, you'll do. <laughs> Look, I don't expect you to be an exact copy of Aja. Your hunger for exploration, to pierce the veil and seek the unknown, it's a common bond that we share. I mean... I wouldn't have it any other way. I wouldn't call it a bond. I'm not really super psyched about it. Oh, flirt option. Okay, so it actually tells you when you're flirting, not like Mass Effect where you just have to fuck around and find out and then do damage control afterwards. So, you know, that's a good thing I to know that it has flirt at in freaking big letters. And if it turns to be the case, it's good. I'm certain things. That's will a good that's a good mechanic. Smoothly. I'm happy with that. That's anyway, nice. Anyway, that's all I had to discuss for now. Thanks for spending time listening to me. It really helps. It's it's fine. Like I don't Like the whole oh you share my discovery. Like, I was happy being a rock breaker, lady. I got thrown into this. I don't want to be here, but I'm here now, so I gotta fuck around and find out what this freaking piece of metal's done to my brain, don't I? I mean, it could have chucked a big old tumor or something in there, and I got no clue. So, uh, now I gotta find out what's happening. So, oh, uh, hello? Don't come any closer. Ma'am. Identify yourself. Whoa, 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 whoa. I, you I'm are not from here to hurt you. Vladimir said someone might be coming. Yes, ma'am. I'm just glad we found you unharmed, Andreja. Vladimir and I were worried. You are the newest member, yes? Do they often send you to check up on other, more senior members? Uh, I do look, I'm just doing orders. what I was asked to do, okay? I should not be frustrated with you. It is good that you have their trust. We waste time. We should complete our okay. mission and then we can talk. Fair. Okay, so we found old love and always uh, worth checking. Never know what you might find in their pockets. Well, yeah, that's true. I already like you more than Sarah. No offense to Sarah. If I had not mentioned it, I have another package ready for delivery. All right. Suppose you were due for one. The uh, contents, they're what we agreed on? Yes, Vladimir and I agreed on what um, she did. That's all fine then. Do let me know. Um, that is highly unlikely, but if it happens, I will be sure and tell you. That's some suspect. Also, good gun, good gun. Happy with gun. Love gun. Oh shit! Scare me. Once again, we are Well, yeah, now you are. Oh, good gun. And don't, don't like that in Zoom you can't see their health though, that's annoying. Well, shit, lady. That was some precision shot. Holy fuck.
Um. Is there any more? Oh, I only have nine shots left. That's so sad. Oh, am I over encumbered? Oh, that's annoying. I think you know what? Whatever. We've got enough health packs. Too much on. Literally. How are you easing into well, this? Well, listen, Andresia. Is our mutual acquaintance helping with the transition to this new way of life for you? Yes. I proper adjustments are being made. Why do you guys keep talking in riddles? Just speak plainly, please. That pisses me off when people do that. It's like it's like so please, if you're going to have a private conversation, either have it in private oh, yes. or or speak plainly. Like strange one. After a person sneezes, someone invariably invokes the phrase bless you. Oddly strange to a Yeah, no, nobody understands why. I mean, there's probably a reason, actually, but you know, most most of us regular folk, folk that do not know the histories of the humans and such, do not know where the phrase "bless you" bless you came from. I have no idea where I'm supposed to be going. It says that way. But, like, did I get lost? Is there another that way? I thought it would be these stairs. I don't care if I'm dying. It's annoying, alright? Leave me alone. Okay, we're waiting patiently. See, look, 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 I'm waiting. I'm being good. Okay. Doing the right thing. But just know, you're not gonna, you're not gonna, you know, make me put stuff down. I'm not gonna stop picking stuff up. <laughs> okay, now I can run out my CO2 again. My O2 to my CO2, whatever. Oh, hey! I mean, that's not a nope rope, but it's pretty close to a nope rope. How are you easing into things, Andresia? Is our mutual acquaintance... You, you just had this conversation. ...this new way of life for you. Yes. I would say that the proper adjustments are being made. The most difficult part is... I'm just gonna let them talk in private. Because, like... Obviously... It's a hush-hush. Oh, hello! Back up, sir. I just missed every single shot on that pirate. Oh, no, nah. missed every shot. Well done. I can't see in here. I'm just taking pot shots in the general direction of where the lasers are coming from and hoping for the best here. 
sir. Something may be nearby. I think I hit him twice. Three times? No, y'all aren't hearing things. There is a man shooting at us. Y'all are not hearing things. What are you doing? Swear to ladies. Eesh. hit the blind side of a beauty shot. Look how many shots he's missed. I also wish to be prepared for any situation, but No, it is not. This limits. is a video game. No. Practical limits can stay at the door, ma'am. This is a video game. I will carry everything and I will grunt and sweat and carry on like a pork chop. Run out my O2 till I'm nearly dead. Because I can do it. I got real negative. I don't flirt with death, but video game. Your girl is invincible. It'll be fine. Sir, would you please mind staying still for just a moment so I can shoot you in the fucking face? Thank you ever so. Oh, hello. I cannot wait you. You wanna hang you want you wanna hang tight and just no, don't run off, don't run off. Making my life difficult, don't do that. Oh crit. I mean, honestly though, these ladies, they be chatting like, like two old ladies going to bingo, you know what I mean? Like, like, you'll just be, you'll just be rabbiting on every two seconds. Look. Can I help? I'll only carry the good stuff. I'm just, I'm gonna give you some shit because it's heavy. And I'm getting the shits with this whole O2 every two seconds thing, so I'm just gonna give you a few of these so I can actually, well, fucking run. Okay, am I good now? Do I just give her- okay, so she can't- she can't carry anymore. I like how it calls her the container is at max capacity, like Maybe she's not a human being. Like she's just- she's a container. Our girl is just a container. She's a vessel. Okay, do I just fuck it? I did it. Oh, the burns I didn't know I had went away. That's nice to know. That's where all the pirate folk were, wasn't it? Up there. Uh, I'll get that on the way back because otherwise I'm gonna be heaving and panting and shrieking again. Hello. I know the drill by now.
You did not respond when I called huh? to you after you pulled out the artifact. Does that mean Barrett's theory and experience were correct? The artifact grants the oh, first yeah. person who touches it a vision? The fact that it has happened to both you and Barrett is already more than we had before. I think it is important that sure. we discuss what you saw back there. That man. Yeah, you were shooting people. What I had done. It was either him or you. It was, yes. I appreciate Sometimes that. Sometimes you just you gotta do what you gotta way. do. A very practical outlook, not one I find is shared well, amongst sure, like, I don't constellation. Well, sure, like, I don't condone killing people. May I ask what your background uh, is? I was a minor. Argos. I have heard of this company. Small. Yeah. Reckless. Boss lady was pretty interesting. blase about the rules. I do not have experience with this profession, but I have my own experiences with risk. We both seem to be unusual yeah, I additions like you. to Constellation. Please, I would ask that you not mention to Vladimir the circumstances sure. in which you found me. This is not the first time that Varun Zelix oh have attempted to corner me. If it is known that this has happened again, well, it has been a while since I was given an assignment on my own. I would not want it to be Fair. even longer in the future. Absolutely. Do you, you understand? You got it. Mum's a word. Mum? This means we are in agreement. Thank you. That is good to know. I will finish here and return to New Atlantis when I can. You should go now, oh, as they okay. will be expecting us. I like her. Can we can we take her on a on a trip next time? I, I definitely like that one. She's a little bit You know, she gets it. Sarah's good and all, but she's a lot straight laced, like if you're searching, uh, okay. then make it quick. Why do I have to make it quick? Oh, this should be a more than adequate um, return for our I efforts. should hope so. Well, you died getting your damn artifact. May as well get some creds out of it. People keep throwing me into these situations. Like. Okay. Can I tr can I fast travel to the No, I can't. Excellent. So we will just have to walk back there. I should probably keep myself alive, that would be advisable. Hmm? Feel free to drop um, some stuff. Well it said you were full before, so I doubt that I can. I mean there's no point in you holding all of this stuff. Because I'm already over encumbered and you can't carry any more, so. Oh crap, I took her helmet. Shoot. I'd be happy to carry a few things for you. Um... I think she had one of those star or in a space suits. But, do I give her a better one? Yeah, I'll just give her a better one. Navigator. I mean, I think it was the elliptic one that she had. Okay. 
I want to say it's the laser cartridges that she carries, but I don't know. I'm going to give her these ones. I think that's what she had. I mean, I don't have any other laser rounds, and I know that that thing takes lasers, so... Bye-bye. I love to suffocate. It's so much fun. Couldn't just make us walk slowly, could you? No. You have to suffocate and die. I mean... Most other games just... Okay, you're over encumbered, you can't fast travel. Just go for a walk. I once walked from the middle of, um, middle of nowhere to, uh, to my camp because I was over encumbered and I wasn't willing to drop anything because I'm a cheap bitch and I wanted to have credits, have caps, whatever you call them. So I'd used all the money at the vendor. I'd used all the money at the script machine. So I walked from one side of the map to my base so that I could log off at my base and be conveniently within walking distance of a train station the next time it clicked over. And so that's what I did. And that's why that is is good because you can just you just walk at your leisure. But this one this is Hey, if you walk too much, you increase your CO2 levels. And if you have too much CO2, you choke to death. And so we have many med packs. And so we will just push it and push it and push it until we're a little bit low on health. And then we'll just refill the health. It'll be fine. Yes, I know. I know we're joking. It's fine. Don't worry about it, okay? The health bar's fine. You're fine. This cave would be an excellent place for someone. Yes, Sarah, we know. The people were just in there. This is an We just walked through here, operation. Sarah. Sarah, honestly, I, I wonder, are you are you good? Because every time we go somewhere and go the opposite way to somewhere, so like, we've come in, you don't say anything, you don't say boo to a goose, and then we're leaving, and you go, oh, hey, this would be a good place to some, hey, this is an impressive mining op, like, ma'am, what? Okay, so we'll just we'll just stand here. Cause, I mean, we've got to go what, like sixty meters? It'll be fine. Eighty meters, whatever. I don't know whether that's the sixty or eighty. My eyes are bad. <laughs> nope, that's at eighty. Because now that's turned into a seven, and I can see that. Oh. Just get on the ship, woman. Yes, choke. Yes, we're choking. Oh dear. Uh... Okay. Thank you, Sarah. Okay, so now we have to go back to the lodge. Is that right? Okay, so there, there, the lodge. There, right? That's where we gotta go. Oh, but we can pick where we wanna go because I wanna drop off the stuff first. At the, um. At the, um, kiosk. 
desperately searches for word in brain. Okay, so we'll sell all the non-favorited things. Okay. So... The ship... My inventory, I want to put... I want to put the food away. Throw all the resources on the ship. Digipix I want to keep and then the food tray and that I've got to throw out. Well, get sold. Sell. Sold. Sell. Um, so that just needs to go there now because that was better. And that one needs to go where the other one was. Okay. I want to keep the old earth shotgun because I think it's dope tech. Um, everything else I just need to go to For decorating their ships with heat. the um, thing I'm a jig the other um, the other shop because that one's out of money Investigate brownouts in the well. Okay, well, that's a side mission that I've got to handle. Okay, we'll take some health and we'll wait a minute. And by a minute, I mean immediately walk away the second I get health because I couldn't be bothered to wait. Okay, lady, I need to sell you stuff. There is a bit more in the back. If it belongs on your ship, then I'm sure we have it for sale. Cool. Oh, please, take a Thanks. look. Okay, now I want to swap to sell, don't I? How do I? I don't want to buy things off you. I, I don't want to buy things off you. There we go. Okay, it was LB. I totally should have been paying attention to that. My bad. Um. Okay, get rid of that. Everything else is favorited except the cutter, which I need in order to break resources up. I think we're good there. But it's like, do I need all these guns, you know? But also, till I get a feel for what I want to do. I mean, I might keep, I'm probably going to keep most of them. I will get rid of some of the smaller pistols though. See, because I already have a bunch of them and the ammo. You know, they all take the same ammo, so it kind of seems pointless to have a bunch of different styles of pistols where the ammo is like the same. So if I'm out of ammo, like I switch to a different pistol, it's gonna be out of ammo too. Which is just dang annoying. Get rid of all these. So for the consolation one. Um overall. Even though this one is 
Okay, so now she's run out of cash too. Well, alright, I guess I'll just keep these till I hit another port. She's still got a little bit of money, so I'll throw some more things her way, but just nothing heavy duty. Till we can't sell any more stuff. Um... Um, hello? Thanks for shopping at Jemison Mercantile. Okay, I pressed that button. And that didn't do anything for a whole bunch of seconds. Like, what? I'm only, what I'm was not that? seeing any records from that hauler out of Sidonia. What was his name again? When's the last time he delivered? Oh, that's a shelf. Oh, that guy. Okay, so now we have to go to the lodge, which I... Oh, finally I can walk. Oh, you have no idea how annoying that's been this entire time. So I think I have a good amount of creds saved up now. I think I can start picking up every weapon that I see. Maybe just pick up the good stuff. Um, the rare stuff and that sort of thing to be able to sell. That's probably what I'll do. I've flown across most of the separate systems and even lines of space and yet I still get sick from the mat. Huh. It's an interesting little tidbit from her. There's so many underlying yeah. systems to this game, I feel like it's going to take a while to get used to. Um, I mean, you know, each game has its own learning curve. It just depends on how quickly it takes you to learn it, or whether it's an overly complicated system. You know, like, I found Cyberpunk was... I mean, it's had a complete overhaul, which I'm going to go back and replay because it's completely different now um, that they've done this patch with the new DLC. Um, so the, the whole system behind like armor and things like that is all different now. Like the clothes are only... I think they changed the clothing option and your armor comes from your mods now. And honestly... I barely had any mods like on my character. She was almost skin. Like if we're here. Perhaps we should check in with Matteo or Noel. Hey, I hope you are Oscar, I missed you, buddy. Available to you, Captain. Now that you are a member Sir. of the Constellation, I am at your service. Okay. No additional protocols necessary. Also. Given How many the people am I allowed on my ship? You will be out in unsettled space. It might be beneficial to go over exploration outpost development. Oh, that's absolutely in fair. I would ever love need to, to know build how to do a that. base for field research. Uh huh. Absolutely. Captain, I will proceed to my assigned post. Okay, so I can have two. I can't have two people? Hi. Thank you for no your worries. help before. We found the artifact. Okay, let's throw some more on there. Look at you two. I'm jealous. I tried following up on some leads myself, but... Oh, Bubble. That sucks. Handed. They could be anywhere, can't they? It's true. They're embedded mm -hmm. in a rock or in the hands of an unsuspecting novelty. Absolutely, my brother. They're really something. I catch myself just staring at the collection sometimes, wondering what I it like all your means. enthusiasm, dude. Maybe that's how our ancestors felt when they were looking up at the stars for the first time. They didn't just gawk at the stars, Mateo. They explored. They tested. Science brought us to space, well, not I mean, daydreaming. 
I disagree. What's the point of science if not to enable humanity's dreams? And where do those dreams come from? Not every dream is a pleasant one. I agree with Noel. The work is what moves us forward. You're with me, right? Science Birth. or dreams? Which one is the true muse Birth of space of them exploration? Birth is needed. And it's like, oh no, I'm not taking sides. Neutrality? Mm -hmm. In a debate? I guess your side forfeits. Uh, how can you forfeit if you don't even take a side? You're getting rusty with your oh, combats, God. Mateo. Playing it safe, eh? <laughs> I don't blame you. Getting mired in a debate with Mateo and Noel can be yeah, a day affair. You know what? I just realized I completely overtook this whole conversation. This should be about you and Andresia celebrating a win for oh the group. Oh my god, he's so polite. I do not mind being asked to join in a debate. It was good to hear everyone's sides. But I do agree that we accomplished something together. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. I have no objections. Let us see what else we can find out there. Noel, pulling some interesting data from those new artifacts. Tell the rook to meet me back. Oh, I guess to go back to the eye. I really like Vladimir. Vladimir, they're on their way. Good day, Captain. Okay, I think that brings us to the end of our foray today. Thank you for joining us on this fantastical trip in the stars once again. And eventually I will press the right button. There we go. That concludes our adventure for today, my friend. Please return next time and we will continue our journey. But for now, we head back to Sniper's Rest. If you wish to rest here for a time, please find a space that suits you. Whether you curl up by the fire, partake in some food and beverages in our kitchen, take a nap in one of our many rooms, or take a stroll around the garden, please know you are always welcome at Sniper's Rest, my friend. If you are continuing your journey, good luck, my friend, wherever you end up. Wherever you come from, and wherever you're going, thank you for spending some time here with us at Sniper's Rest. Remember to take care of yourself, be kind to others, hydrate, take a moment to look out into the world and marvel at how incredible it all is. How incredible you are, friend. Until next time, please take care on your way.